Have you ever wondered how fish communicate without uttering a single word? Intriguing, isn't it? Much like a captivating dance, fish use their bodies to express themselves, silently speaking volumes in the watery depths below. Yes, that's right. Our finned friends communicate through body language, a fascinating form of nonverbal communication that transcends species boundaries. In the world of fish, a fin twitch, a head bob, or a color change is more than just a random act. These are deliberate gestures, each with their own unique meaning. From showing dominance, to expressing fear, to signaling a readiness to mate, fish use their bodies in a myriad of ways to interact with their surroundings. The underwater world is a bustling stage where these silent dramas play out, one filled with complex choreographies of movement and color that convey messages we're just beginning to understand. Just imagine, an underwater world filled with silent conversations. Before we can decode the language of fish, we first need to understand the basics. Imagine an underwater world where inhabitants communicate not through sound, words or letters, but through movement, color and pattern. This is the realm of our finned friends, the fish. Their body language is a dynamic non-verbal lexicon that they use to navigate life beneath the waves. Firstly, let's delve into the dance of courtship. Just like birds in the sky, fish in the sea have their own elaborate rituals when it comes to attracting a mate. From the flamboyant displays of color and pattern changes in cuttlefish, to the intricate dance patterns of the cichlids, each species has its own unique language of love. Next, we move to territorial disputes. In the aquatic world, territory means everything. It's not just about space, it's about food sources and safety. To protect their turf, fish use various behaviors such as flaring fins, puffing up, or even changing color to appear more intimidating. Now let's turn to the hunt. Hunting strategies can be as varied as the fish themselves. Some, like the groupers, use stealth and ambush, while others, such as the tuna, rely on speed and agility. These techniques are communicated and coordinated through subtle body movements and positioning. Lastly, danger signals. When a predator is near, fish need to warn each other quickly. They might dart into hiding, flash warning colors, or send out distress signals through erratic movements. These signs are a crucial part of their survival toolkit. So what does all this mean? It means that when we watch fish, we're not just seeing random swimming. We're witnessing a complex, wordless conversation taking place in a world that's largely silent. We're observing creatures who've adapted to communicate in ways that we're only just beginning to understand. So the body language of fish is not just random movement, it's meaningful communication. Now let's delve into the specifics. How do we interpret these silent conversations? When observing fish, it's crucial to note that their body language is as diverse and nuanced as our own. Let's begin with one of the most common behaviors, flaring fins. Have you ever noticed how a better fish spreads its fins and gills wide open like a fan? This is not merely a display of beauty. In the fish world, flaring fins is a clear indication of aggression or territorial behavior. It's a fish's way of saying, this is my space and you're not welcome here. Next, let's talk about color changes. Many species of fish have the ability to alter their coloration in response to various stimuli. A sudden change in color often signifies stress or fear. For instance, clownfish may turn dark when they feel threatened. On the other hand, vibrant color displays can denote excitement or a readiness to breed. Now what about those rapid swimming patterns? You might have observed fish darting around the tank or swimming in a zigzag pattern. This could be an indication of several things. If the water parameters are off, or if the fish is feeling unwell, erratic swimming can be a distress signal. However, it could also be a playful behavior or a mating dance. But it's not just about the big, obvious signs. Subtle cues also matter. For instance, a fish hovering near the water surface could be gasping for air due to poor water quality. A fish hiding or staying still might be feeling unwell or stressed. Remember, understanding fish body language is about observing and interpreting these cues in context. A single action can mean different things depending on the situation. It's akin to understanding a foreign language. You need to grasp the entire sentence, not just the individual words. So, you see, each movement is a word, each action a sentence in the language of fish. So, how can understanding fish body language help us in our interaction with these fascinating creatures? You might wonder. Well, there are numerous practical applications. 
To start in the realm of fish keeping, recognizing the subtle signs of stress or illness in a fish can be the difference between a thriving aquarium and a tank full of problems. If a fish is darting around the tank or hiding frequently, it might be indicating discomfort or fear. From a marine biology standpoint, understanding fish body language can enhance our research capabilities, helping us to better understand their behavior, interactions, and environmental needs. This knowledge can contribute to conservation efforts, aiding in the preservation of diverse aquatic ecosystems. Even for those who enjoy fishing, understanding fish body language can turn an average day on the water into a successful fishing trip. Knowing when a fish is stressed or defensive can help determine the best time to cast a line. Indeed, understanding fish body language opens up a new perspective on our underwater friends. Let's recap what we've learned about the silent language of fish. This unvoiced communication, as we've discovered, is of utmost importance in the aquatic world. Fish use their bodies to express a variety of messages, from signaling danger to flirting for mates. We've dived into the basics of fish body language, exploring how movements, colors, and patterns play pivotal roles. From the flamboyant displays of courtship to the subtle shifts in color signaling stress, each fish has its unique way of talking. Next, we journeyed into the art of decoding these signals. With a keen eye and a bit of patience, we can start to understand their silent conversations. This knowledge isn't just fascinating, it's practical too. For aquarists, recognizing these signals can lead to better care and healthier aquariums. So next time you watch a fish, remember, you're not just observing, you're listening to their silent conversation.